and stay out of it. We're going to have the hap, hap, happiest Christmas since Bing Crosby tap danced with Danny fucking K. Welcome to the party, pal. There's a rule. There's a tradition that says, I have to kiss this girl on the lips. This is Christmas. The end of the coast, we get together, have a few laughs. When Santa squeezes his fat white ass down that chimney night, he's going to find the jolliest bunch of assholes this side of the nut house. Welcome back, hoes. Welcome back, our ho ho hoes. Yeah, to the uh, Christmas special. It's just me and Tommy for this one because yeah. we couldn't get a guest. Yeah. Well, we did. Or but. well, yeah. <laughs> we had a we had a last minute reschedule, but this one was positive for those who know us. Uh, we're not always keen on last minute reschedules around here, but uh, <laughs> around these parts, just throwing shade at uh, our producer. Yeah, fucking. God damn! This Just looking thing. at that empty seat <laughs> yeah. right Whenever, there. Whenever you know what, maybe we shouldn't tell Spencer's not here, and then we can still yell at him anyways. <laughs> <laughs> Just play, just project all our all our problems all onto of our him. Anger, all problems. our insecurities. Yeah. yeah, and I have a lot of them. So no, you cannot photocopy mine. Comf, God, put that away <laughs> in focus. <laughs> no, Dad. <laughs> 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 no, I'm just kidding. Yeah. Uh, so what were we talking about before we started recording here? Man, why do you get so nervous when I start typing child into your internet search history? <laughs> 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 uh, Jesus. We were talking about different pod, different pod setups. Yeah, different pod setups because 2020 big year. Big year. Big year. 100 million followers. <laughs> Correct. Watch out, PewDiePie. Watch out, PewDiePie. We coming for you. Man, did you actually, have you seen any of the uh, YouTube Rewind stuff that he's kind of talked about? So I saw the, like I saw the thing where he's like, I ruined YouTube re- Rewind or whatever, because he actually got mentioned this year. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I saw that. That's all I oh, saw. Oh, okay. So, so but th- now they've actually, so, um, so uh, his... For most like music video, mm-hmm. his video "Congratulations" actually should have been like sixth or seventh on the list. Okay. It actually had more likes than a wh- uh, yeah. whatever was on there. Yeah, but he did say he wasn't mad. People pointed it out, and he just said, "Well, I was just making fun of Indians in general, so maybe <laughs> it shouldn't have been on there." And then um, also because uh, for some uh, some top creator video or something like that. Uh, Shane Dawson was number 10, mm-hmm. but his Minecraft part one had more likes than that. So he should have been yeah. on that list as well. So he was, he was included, but also excluded. Yeah. So. I saw that Minecraft as a subject got a hundred billion views or something. Oh yeah. It's cause, Holy well, it's shit. cause his series, I actually looked at it the other day cause I actually kind of watched them. They were sort of entertaining. I don't know. I yeah. watch PewDiePie moderately regularly. I watch them sometimes. Yeah. His he did like seventy five episodes of Minecraft and they all get like five million views. Holy so fuck. it actually got super super popular yeah. again this year. Um and yeah for because they were counting down the top games and it really took over. And so. Minecraft is from like two thousand nine. Really, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah. Do, do they just keep adding? I'm kind of out of the loop here. Do they just keep adding like skins and stuff to it, or like how do they keep it? They relevant? do some moderate updates, but it's it is effectively the same game and the coding and shit is moderately basic it's actually they just kind of maintain it so it runs well and right. then there are there are some updates and patches but it's for, from the from the d- developer it's very minimal yeah i mean adam will know more about this uh Whoa. sorry 2011 2011 okay but uh you know they were saying well it was the top game at the start of the decade now it's the top game at the end of the decade. that's pretty crazy so and i have yeah. never played it me neither yeah never in my entire life Oh yeah, I actually I completely lack the ability to have a healthy relationship with video games, so I just don't really? play them anymore. Yeah, I, I I'm yeah. I'm all in, man. Like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like I I can't be like I will play for one hour of leisurely enjoyable gaming right. and stop. Yeah, <laughs> it doesn't happen. <laughs> no, no. Screen also still screaming at it and yeah. shit. Right. So, yeah. Yeah. yeah I, I'm, I tell people I'm retired because I retired. I played Fortnite decent bit when it was popular like a year and a half ago yeah and then i just stopped one day i i had had enough came to the realization well i mean (laughs) so i actually broke my controller because i just i was fucking pissed (laughs) and then i just look at it shattered on the ground i'm like 
what the fuck am I doing? <laughs> and then I quit <laughs> and stuff. Actually, sorry, that's a lie. I got Red Dead Redemption 2. So playing offline story games yeah. is kind of whatever because that's just kind of sure. more chill. Yeah. But I'm like, what the fuck? Like, what? I'm 20, well, 25 years old at that time. Like, yeah. this is ridiculous. Why am I doing this? Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, very true. So I, I, I retired that day. And then some friends nice. are every now and then like, oh, man, you ever play PUBG or Fortnite these days or anything like that? I'm like, nah, enjoying retirement. Yeah. As you can see by my leisurely retirement wear from... Uh, <laughs> I haven't played. Yeah, the last video game I played would have been Rocket League, and I would have played. Did that. you guys play Rainbow Six? And we shit? did. Yeah, we did. But I stopped playing. You don't that. PC game all the time. Nope, I don't even have Windows. So what are my... you doing when you take forever to respond to my text, man? <laughs> <laughs> well, there's this thing that I discovered called jerking off. <laughs> <laughs> there's this thing called girls. And <laughs> what are those? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, no, I I actually haven't played a video game since before I moved to yep. across country. So. Nice, nice, that's good. Yeah, yeah I played uh, I played Red Dead Redemption about this time last year because that's when it came out, mm-hmm. and then finished it and then just kind of stopped caring. And yeah. then I didn't even like bring my Xbox with me when I moved and shit. So wow, yeah, yeah, kind of over it. You know, I I wasted. Honestly, I think you need to know yourself because I specifically remember when I bought my Xbox One. It was Boxing Day. Mm-hmm. And there was a really sweet deal on it, and it came with uh, Halo 4 or whatever the fuck. Not Halo 4. Halo 5? Probably, yeah. And Gears of War 4. Yeah, that sounds right. And because that was what was out at the time. It was a really good deal. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, I know if I buy this, I'm going to kind of go down the rabbit hole Mm -hmm. and game, well, more than zero hours, which is more than enough, right? Mm -hmm. And... I'm like, I'm going to waste tons of time on this, and I just know for a fact I will, and I know I'm going to be pissed at myself, and mm-hmm. I still bought it anyways. And then, like, eight months later, I thought back to that moment and thought, wow, I was completely right, <laughs> and I did it anyways. <laughs> I actually almost bought that same package. Yeah. And I remember it being a good deal, and I just, I was, like, this close yeah. to push, pushing walked the, away. the buy button. Yeah, yeah. And I didn't do it. But. Nah. Yeah, so close yeah. so yeah, close exactly yeah. absolutely i just know how much time i spent on video games as as a kid and it was like i've definitely spent over a year of my life playing video games that's exactly what i think about yeah. because you know it, it's an interesting kind of two-factor thing but i i think that mm-hmm. i think the same yeah. where i can't help but think back of all the time i wasted we wasted yeah uh, over the and it's I don't know. There, there's probably some good in video games and problem solving skills, blah 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 blah, and even yeah. making friends in the social aspect. Like, yeah. I won't totally di- discount it, yep. but if you think from grade six through, you know, age twelve through twenty, let's say twenty one, sure. yeah, how much time you spent a lot doing that? A lot of time. Yeah, uh, one cumulative year, maybe maybe not quite that much, but just how much time burnt? Yeah. Well, in I, days and whatever, days, weeks, months. I know it's over a year because my fucking RuneScape account was like 125 days played. <laughs> so that's okay, never a mind. lot of time. Yeah. <laughs> so that's just yeah. one game. And yeah. then there was fucking Halo 3. Yeah. I know I spent a yeah. lot of Halo time 3, with. Halo 3, Gears 2. Yeah. But um, all the chicks are turning this episode off for I sure. No, but yeah. So now that they're gone, boys. Uh... <laughs> this is how you get girls in 2020. Yeah. How... <laughs> Me and the boys. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we just got the same fucking Google yeah. calendar. Girls, girls be time. like, boys be like, um, girls what was I gonna don't say? like boys, girls like cause and money. That's probably, yeah. you know, someday if I have a son and he's like, dad, how do I get girls? I will just put on girls and boys by good Charlotte. <laughs> I love that song, man. <laughs> uh, anyways, no, yeah, it definitely wasted a lot of time. And now I'm like, well, that's also part of my rationale where I think mm-hmm. back, how much time did I have I wasted in my life? Yeah. That if I never played it a single video game again for a single second, yeah. I have played enough, yeah, I think. Absolutely. Right. So yeah. I think certain people can use it as like a reward system where they mm-hmm. play like an hour yeah, exactly. a day after a nice ten hours well, of work. And then or here's the thing but... too is like I still watch we were just talking about movies in the last episode. Mm-hmm. I still watch T V, watch movies. Yeah. It's just how what does your leisure time look like yeah right? so, yeah yeah 
My leisure time? I don't even know. I always send... It's this joke. If you've ever been in a group chat with me, A, this joke is always funny, <laughs> and B, I still do this all the time. There's a scene <laughs> from American Dad yeah. where the kid's like, let me just check my schedule, and it shows the schedule, and it's just like... Monday, whack it. Tuesday, whack it. <laughs> Wednesday, whack it. So if anyone ever fires up a group chat and is says, hey, what's everyone doing this weekend? I just send that meme. <laughs> <laughs> American Dad is an underrated show. Underrated for sure. Absolutely. Yeah. yeah, good show. I even, I actually watched the Cleveland show or whatever it was called. Yeah. And yeah. It actually had some funny moments, but it just... It didn't fly. I guess people liked Family Guy or whatever. They're all Seth, so. Seth MacFarlane. Yeah. And yeah. Uh, did you ever watch the one where he's like a space guy and he's actually in the show? He did a show where he's actually, he stars in it. Is it live action? Live action. No, I have no idea. Hang I'm on. I'll look it up. Oh, God. I don't know if I'm using all my RAM on my computer right now. Yeah. yeah. Dude, when we looked that up, it was like 8%. Audio is pretty easy to run, so. <clears throat> oh, yeah. We okay. The Orville. I can't really turn my computer. It's okay. I'll look it up. I'll look it up. Yeah. I'm not texting. I'm looking this up because I yeah. want to know. Yeah. It was actually premiered oh. in 2017. I don't know if it even exists anymore. Is it funny? Because it yeah, looks pretty... like a blatant star, star Trek ripoff. <laughs> it is <laughs> essentially a blatant Star Trek oh, okay. ripoff. And apparently it's still running. Comedy drama. Oh, okay. Interesting. I have never heard of this. What do you know? What? What other? He was in that movie, uh, A Million Dies. A Million Ways to Die in the West. Yeah, yeah. That, was, that was actually pretty funny. Pretty good. He was, was pretty funny. funny in that. Yeah. yeah. He's actually. I don't know. He's a pretty funny guy. Yeah, he is. Yeah. I don't know. He. Uh, and Ted. Ted. Ted is good. Yeah. Ted is a good. Who? Okay. Oh yeah, he voices the yeah. bear. Yeah. Mark Wahlberg. Yeah. And him. Well, he actually because he's. So Family Guy in recent seasons has continued to get more and more outrageous and therein I think it's funnier because mm -hmm. they just make fun of everything. Mm -hmm. But it's because Seth MacFarlane literally doesn't give a shit. Yep. And, and that's what you should do <laughs> well, at that point. Because maybe there is some wisdom in this because it's because he doesn't care if the show gets canceled because he wants to do movies. Yeah. So he's just pushing the envelope because he doesn't care if they get pissed at him. And it's but better. it's made the show honestly way better. <laughs> <laughs> so they keep bringing it back. Yeah. And he's like, fuck. <laughs> like, I'm trying to fuck this up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. God damn it. <laughs> maybe that's like, fuck. Maybe well, that's when you have nothing wisdom. to lose, right? Maybe so, that's some yeah. wisdom there. <laughs> you know the one Seinfeld where George is dating two chicks but wants to break up with both of them? So he orchestrates he where they both meet. Yeah. And he's like, my whole web of lies is blowing up in my face. And both of them are like, yeah, George, I'm fine with this. I'm not looking for anything too exclusive. <laughs> we can keep seeing each other. Because he was trying to, he didn't want to break up with them. He was trying to make it easy and yeah. for them to storm off. And both of them were like, yeah. no, this is fine with me. <laughs> I fucking love that show. It's so good. Yeah. I actually like started watch. I looked up the hundred best episodes of Seinfeld or whatever, Ooh, and just started yeah. just started like watching them. Mm. Yeah, that would that would be a good approach. I just kind of started. So I think I I wanted to watch it from the top, but I started at season like th I think I just skipped to season three because mm -hmm. the first season's weird. Season two, they're kind of figuring they're out slow. the roles. Yeah, they're slow. So uh, I just skipped to that one. But yeah, because it is a funny show, but there are some episodes where it's kind of like. Yeah, right. <laughs> right. Not a quite as good and classic as the other ones. Well, I so. mean, I feel like the writing is like this podcast. <laughs> Where we yeah, go in and just yeah. improvise. If I'm not mistaken, or no, I think it's curb your enthusiasm. Yeah. Where most of the, a lot of the scenes, they would say, "Here's the start of the scene. Here's the end of the scene. You guys just figure out the rest." And that's part of why the show's so funny because they're just really funny actors. Dude, is, improv so. improv is hilarious too. And that I actually I do enjoy improv and. A lot of good comedic actors and good comedians Started. did a lot of improv, yeah. right? Yeah. So, yeah. yeah. Or took drama class, which mm -hmm. I did not. No, no. That was actually one class, you know, but I was way too shy of a kid in high school to have taken it. Mm -hmm. But if I had taken that, I think it would have been fun. It would have been a good one to take to get out of your shell and yeah. get in front of people, right? So. Yeah. I think all the, well, I mean, that's standard knowledge now with comedians or whatever. They really push the drama classes and improv and all that so. well yeah maybe more improv and uh 
acting classes even and stuff yeah. because those are actually valuable. Mm-hmm. The one thing is stand up classes. Any good stand up rips on those all the time. I don't yeah. know if you've heard that because apparently they're just a bunch of hacks. Mm-hmm. But then you could argue, what is education? It's a bunch of hacks who didn't quite cut it, sort of thing, right? So, yeah, hundred yeah, percent. Yeah, but uh, yeah. No, oh, we just got the same Snapchat. Or is your? Do you have your Snap notifications off? Yes, at least for that group chat because it gets silly sometimes. Oh yeah. You let me know if it's funny or not. There was a really funny one. It a wasn't couple funny. Days ago. It was just responding to something. Someone there was said a funny earlier. one. There was a funny one a couple of days ago. I, can't I don't remember. remember. What was it? I don't remember. Fuck. Oh. Sure was hilarious, though. <laughs> Super funny. Yeah, I tell you. I promise. Yeah. The crowd. Oh, hang on. Here's Adam. Let's. Oh, they're just texting. Fuck off. God, I hate that. Oh, the tugboat thing. The tugboat thing was pretty funny. Did you like how I changed the photo in our gr- group chat? Yes. Did you notice that? Yes. No one said anything, but I was hoping someone would notice. <laughs> Well, kind of when you live in a house with two of the guys in the group chat, you kind of just have the conversation. You talk. Like, you exactly. forget you're talking yeah, offline, like, and yeah. then you're like, man, you guys don't remember that? Yeah, <laughs> this exactly. Is, this is so. Yeah, it's like, oh, there's fucking Thomas the Tugboat on there. Is it Thomas the Tugboat? It's Theodore Tugboat. Is it's the Thomas character's the name. Train. Thomas the Train. That's yeah. who you were named after. Yep. Thomas the Train. <laughs> Correct. Correct. <laughs> <laughs> I Thanks, believe Mom. that. Geez, th- did that show not come out after I was born? I don't know. Great show. I don't even know what the fucking purpose of that show is. They're on tracks. Where can you go as a train? On the train tracks. And then they would all go back to the station at night. Like the train station where it's rotating and they would all like oh, go yeah. into the little little things. It's like a circle. I remember that. <laughs> oh, what? Hang on. Anthropomor- anthropomorphized steam locomotive. Yeah. Oh, the railway series books. No, what the fuck is this? Oh, yeah. 19... 1945? They G- wrote the no. books. Yeah. So you've heard and of then Electric Pines. First appearance. Okay. Yeah, and then... So they were books. And then... Okay, wait. But... Oh, the TV show started in 1989. Looks like. There you go. Before no, we 84. Born. Oh. I don't know, almost a decade before dating well, ourselves here. Who, I guess they were there first. Well, the next guest thinks it's hilarious that his username on certain platforms is Dank Engine. So <laughs> that's pretty fun. That's pretty good, actually. <laughs> yeah. I, uh, shit, I, I only remember half the story, so I'm not going to tell it. Oh, okay. <laughs> but yeah, I actually made my <laughs> name on, we were doing something, uh, for like a Fortnite tournament or something. And yeah, it's way less stupid than it sounds. But um, we uh, <laughs> we had to make a name. And everyone got pissed because I made my name different than my Xbox name because he had to make Ooh. an account on it. It was some sort of thing that made uh, like brackets. Yeah. And I made my name Dank Realty Boy. <laughs> <laughs> and everyone... Oh, Fucking pet peeve is when people read realty as reality. Reality, yeah. I'm like, get that sometimes. You were that slow reading kid in class. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> There's no I in there. Yeah, yeah. Jeez. I yeah. remember when we were working the two percent booth at the home show. People would be like, two percent reality. What's that all about? I'm like, ninety eight percent not reality. That's what that is. <laughs> yeah, exactly. It's a pretty low percentage of reality. <laughs> Or then when I worked at Sport Check and people would say Sports Check. Really? Oh, man. Almost came off the top ropes at some <laughs> innocent customers sometimes. I still remember you got me the discount at Sport Check that one time. Yeah. And then I went to the till to pay. And your like manager was like, does this look like Thomas Harrington to you? <laughs> and the girl is just like... No. <laughs> <laughs> I remember that. Well, that's because they tightened up the discount rules because yeah. it used to be fucking free for all. Actually, talk to Chuck, by the way, because they still, so they have like, they do it. Now they're strict about it, but they have certain dates where they're lax about it. Mm-hmm. So if you need any shoes or whatever. But anyways, no, they used to be really, as long as you were there, you would just give them your card. Yeah. They would take it to the front and then the cashier would bring you your card back. Yeah. And they're like, cool. Yeah. Because it was the friends and family discount. Exactly. And then, then they got really anal about it where it was 
you have to come up and be there with them and blah 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 yeah <laughs> i Jesus. remember that yeah i gave you a bunch of grief for it yeah so. and i was just kind of standing there like I don't know. What am I supposed to do? <laughs> yeah, honestly. So <laughs> I felt so bad for the girl. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> just getting yelled that on behalf of us. <laughs> Especially because generally the cashiers were a bit younger. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Does this look like Thomas Harrington? <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> she probably maybe didn't even know who I was. It was just like, uh, <laughs> maybe, maybe it is. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. <laughs> I'm new here. <laughs> yeah, exactly. It's my first day. <laughs> I've been here for two days. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Oh, man. Jesus. Uh, dude, part time retail jobs were the shit. So, so chill. I actually never worked a part time yeah. realtor. Yeah. You always had gold in the net and yeah. shit. So you never had to work like the no. normal part time jobs nope. most kids did. Of just summers. Grocery store, retail, whatever sort yeah. of thing. Right? Yeah, just um, summers. Or kind of. Yeah, you know, those kind of easy, chilling part-time jobs where it was just, I don't know, they were fun. It was a lot of the social aspect because it's a bunch of people your age. Yeah. It was good times. Right? Yeah. So. Yeah. Well, that was fun. I, I do wish quiet. I had worked at, like, a bar or something in, like, that might have been fun. Yeah, maybe. This, this is bugging me. Okay, thank you. There we go. There's, like, a lip there. I don't know. Well, here's the thing, because when we were in our early twenties was our like fitness days. So mm-hmm. it was very like, Oh, not drinking. And I'm glad I didn't do that. Like I, I'm glad oh, yeah. I did that. Cause yeah. definitely made me healthier into my late twenties. Yeah. You know, are we mid late to, to <laughs> mid to late? Mid, mid to 20. Late. We're mid twenties. Ooh, it's okay. Mid. mid. <laughs> Still mid. Mid. <laughs> and, uh, no, but anyways, so, but then, uh, I don't know. I feel like working at a bar restaurant would have been kind of cool. And, any guys I know who did just have so many hot chicks that they're friends with. <laughs> so <laughs> very true. The turnover is very spectacular at those places too. So it's like it's like a fucking revolving door where they're yeah, hey, new people every week. So. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. exactly. No, yeah. I never did my pro serve or anything, but uh, I was jealous of our one buddy who worked like one night a week. <laughs> yeah, but you need to be the seasoned vet. You yeah, had to do. You had to work real shifts to earn that so so true yeah so true yeah i don't know i i'm kind of glad i didn't too because i was also on the 8 30 bedtime train and yeah more or less yeah <laughs> i still remember like sometimes i'd have friends who were like you want to go out and i'd be like sure and then i'd fall asleep and then they come to my door and like knock on the door and be like where is josh can josh come out to play <laughs> <laughs> and i'd be like asleep and i'd be like tell them to leave <laughs> <laughs> shut the door mom shut the door tell them i'm not here <laughs> by the way what's hanging from the screen over there that's like chained up i don't know that's a good question and there's a lot of just random what's things the magnifying you know? glass too yeah does does he coin use that collection. a lot for oh really he has, yeah, he has a, oh okay he has a v- coin collection that he likes coins oh i thought maybe it was if he had to work on something like small and wanted to no he like examines coins and stuff coin collecting hmm. couldn't get into it as enthralling as it sounds coin collecting yeah <laughs> those things are going away so they're all going to be worth a lot of money i would say actually that's a good point yeah. just everyday pennies or whatever yeah pennies worth 10 cents each oh baby wow Bring that's a pretty up. good return actually yeah, that's a pretty good return. hoard your coins kids yeah hoard your coins when's the last time you paid cash a couple weeks ago. Really? I just randomly had a bunch of cash for a while. Back in the day. That sounds weird. Yeah. Um, <laughs> no, it was like I took out cash for something and had a little bit extra. And then some people, I don't know, Jeff, I think Jeff had to pay me back for something and paid me in cash. And yeah. then my mom paid me back for something and paid me in cash. So I just had a ton of cash. I'm wow. like, oh. Fucking money bags but, over here. Well, not a ton. It was like a hundred bucks, but it was kind of good to have for your convenience items because mm-hmm. then you actually feel like you're spending money when you go spend five bucks on a coffee mm-hmm. or whatever. Mm-hmm. But then I was also, I also didn't like it because, you know, when I go to my hockey games or whatever, yeah, we lock the room and shit, but you're just leaving your cash sitting there. That seems story. crazy to me, right? I have a so, funny story about cash. Do you tell. When I was in Montreal, I wanted to grease a bouncer. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and our buddy... Uh, who lived literally across the street from this bar, goes there all the time. So he knows the balancer was going to just get us in for free. Yeah. So me and my drunk state 
for 10 people gave this bouncer? Like five bucks. $15. <laughs> <laughs> Just does the like handshake like, hey, man, you're doing a great job. Keep so, it <laughs> so he shook my hand, took the money, went inside for a minute, came back out, shook my hand again. He was like, this is an insult. <laughs> <laughs> like he gave it back? Yeah, he gave it back. And my buddy's like, I know this guy. Don't worry about it. Like we're getting in for free. Like why are you trying to give him money? Anyway, so it was funny. It was funny. <laughs> I was really right. fucking hammered. Yeah. I thought it was great. Did you ever <laughs> successfully grease a bouncer here? I've never really had to. Yeah. Famous, you know. Same, same. <laughs> I just remember we would always, there would be the odd friend or two, who more so guys you were friends with. Yeah. And they'd want to go to, back when the ranch was brand new, they'd yeah. want to show up super fucking late, like 11.30, yeah. 11 11.45 yeah. 11 midnight. And yep. be like, oh, we'll just slip the bouncer 100 bucks. I'm like, I don't like the ranch that much. <laughs> and they'd like come up and try to be really subtle about it, but just clearly have a wad of cash in their hands and yeah. like going to the bounce. And there's like, no man. <laughs> it works. Sometimes it doesn't yeah. work. Other times. I think the minimum per person is at least depends on the location too. Well, it really depends. Yeah. yeah. But I mean, for let's talk about the ranch for a second. It's probably going to be depending on a bump at night, probably like 40 bucks a person. Say like at least 40 bucks, but yeah. So fifteen dollars for ten people, yeah. probably not gonna work. Just saying. Honestly, man, yeah, yeah, <laughs> that's a little a dollar fifty a person. <laughs> man, uh, see, I think I don't know. I've always wanted to try it. I've actually seen people do it once or twice when I was younger. Yeah. But just walk up to the front and act super confident. Mm -hmm. Or also, if you rock up with like, like let's say it was just me and you, mm -hmm. and Penny what bar. We're like dressed sort of nice. Mm -hmm. It's just like, hey man, it's just us two. We're not here to save money. They might be like, right? You know, we're like yeah. clearly more mature. There's a thing though. Depends too. what age of bar you go to, right? Yeah. So, I mean, if we want to write the playbook on this, you, you got to bring a bunch of chicks. Yes, or you got to go, you got to be a regular. Go out on mm. like Tuesday, Wednesday type of thing and get That'd be known smart, as actually. that guy. Yeah you just go there and get dinner or have a beer or exactly. whatever exactly get known as that guy there's not really those places in edmonton though yeah uh maybe i mean it could just be any it'll just be any bar it right? could be so, I, I mean bars are open on weeknights are they i don't even yes. know i'm so out of the loop bro but anyway this, yeah. this conversation entire thing implies you go out on the regular yeah which you do not no i don't yeah you know i it's funny because now that i live close to white but now I'm picky about which parts of white because certain parts are quite a bit further. Like, yeah. I'm just far enough off. That's actually good. But then <laughs> certain places are, you know, a five block walk or whatever, which isn't bad. Yeah. But that's the side of white that's close to me. Mm -hmm. And then the far side is a little too far to walk. Yeah. But if I want to go, and this isn't just at night, this is during the day or whatever too, like for coffee or something. Mm -hmm. If I want to drive over there, by the time I drive, find parking and shit, I might as well have just fucking walked, yeah. <laughs> right? Fair. But there's places where when it's cold, like it's winter time, and I don't want to walk, it's too far. But it's like down the block. But I'm like, eh, no. Like I wanted to go to the farmer's market a little bit. I, I would like to go yeah. soon because it's on Saturdays, but we've been busy with this shit on Saturdays. Mm -hmm. And so I was thinking about it today. I'm like, well... I could walk because by the time I drive over there and find a spot to park, I might as well have just walked. I'm not going to Uber to the farmer's market. That makes no sense. Yeah. And I just said no. <laughs> so. so when we were in Montreal, Adam and I lived on St. Laurent Boulevard, which is one of the nightlife, nightlife places, hot right? spots. Yeah. But we lived far enough down it Yeah. that we would have to have walked whatever it was, five blocks, same mm -hmm. thing. So it was like just out of reach. Just enough. Unless just we enough. really, really wanted to. You you were kind of committed going there. Exactly. It's not like it was in the lobby of your building and no. you just had to go downstairs. You had to go down the way. Right? No. So. so that's, we were talking about moving out to like Raymond Block building, which is across the street from Billiards and fucking <laughs> Kitty Quarter. <laughs> that's yeah. a bad idea. That's <laughs> a fucking least yeah. resistance path. You that, would, like even, yeah. <laughs> Even if you went on the far side of that building, you're facing the pint on the lane. So you I just know. look at it and be like, oh, it looks pretty good down there. Yeah, today. exactly. <laughs> so yeah. develop a yeah. dependency for, yeah. Sure. Yeah. for sure. Yeah. So uh, because I can watch your YouTube videos, because 
even though I've made fun of you in a million times, you still watch them on our shared account. Yes. I saw you've been watching like apartment tours in New York, but for like, here's my $3,500 a month, one bedroom <laughs> tours. And I actually started watching those because they're kind of, <laughs> I don't know, they're kind of interesting. You know what? I probably, it's also crazy. I probably watched like a Sir Hat video and that's just a recommended video. Oh, is it? Yeah. Oh, yeah. okay. So I probably watched like one of his vlogs and yeah, then that yeah. was a recommended video. Yeah, because they are, they do. Yeah, I've seen, I've seen that as well, but I saw a few of them in the recommended. I'm like, yeah. Josh looking at new apartments in New York. But yeah, bro. I mean, moving. just for good market knowledge. But this one shit, it was like 3500 bucks for like 700 square feet one bedroom mm-hmm. and like they had a really nice view mm-hmm. it was pretty cool i think they were downtown um manhattan because there's sure. different parts of manhattan yeah <laughs> so, <laughs> but 3500 bucks and that's probably no parking that's usd too us jesus christ usd i didn't even think about that 3500 canadian here you'd probably get a penthouse you're somewhere. in the pee house baby yeah, you would yeah. be yeah you should should just look at rent faster and just criticize <laughs> rental <laughs> listings or something. Well, I mean, we're in a twenty-two hundred square foot house. It's not thirty-five hundred bucks Canadian. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Right? So like, well, I'm in a I'm in an eleven hundred square foot condo, which is fairly large for a condo. That's unless a big you get condo. like, yeah, re- like unless you get into the, there's the only buildings that have like fifteen hundred plus square foot condos, like a true apartment style condo, yeah. are like old buildings, yeah. right? Yeah. Um, so generally they're not renovated. Or uh, or you're in like the Pearl where they were going more like luxury units yeah. and stuff, but those are pretty expensive, right? So yeah, I mean a fifteen hundred square foot condo is that's a it's a lot condo. of space. That's a, that's a lot condo. of space. Yeah, yeah. <clears throat> flat floor. Yeah, one one level. Yeah, Jesus. Yeah, because like well then the problem too is you bro. can only take a few. It it literally is. It's bigger than a lot of bungalows, yeah. right? Well, if you think about it, we're eleven hundred. That's the main floor of a lot of like West End post war bungalows are like a thousand to eleven hundred. Right? Dude, my so. fucking house was sixteen hundred yeah. fifty square feet. Yeah. Like fuck. <laughs> yeah, for sure. For sure. So fifteen hundred square feet or whatever in the sky has is a lot. And then it also takes up the floor plan as well, right? So So true. Yeah. 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 I don't know how I feel about condo living. Like I did it in mm-hmm. Montreal too. And I don't know. Like there's pros and cons for sure. Location is the biggest thing. Yeah, I wouldn't, I mean, no offense. Eh, well, it depends on, well, actually, for me personally, I would, I just like to keep the location pretty pretty central mm-hmm. just because it's a little more fun and uh, it's just nice to be close to things and it just kind of makes sense condo central for me. Yeah. Granted, I don't know, like there's some good er- good suburb areas where condos are in good locations, close mm-hmm. to stuff, but you're not downtown, so you don't get downtown kind of to it but mm-hmm. yeah i do kind of like that the well it's good and bad in that there are certain days where i don't have to go outside at all but then i also think i get a little too closed off from the world that way mm-hmm. even if it's the walking outside out your door to your car like you don't even get that interaction with n- nature quote unquote mm-hmm. you know what i mean so there's a post on a forum that i was following and it's like why do all new buildings look like this? And then it's essentially like the box. You know what I'm talking about? Like the new buildings where it's all like boxy and like right to the corner of the street where like they try to maximize space. And oh, all that. yeah. <laughs> all the, like there's lots yeah, of glass yeah, yeah. on them yep. and all yep. that. But there's um there's actually some new projects that are going up in Toronto that are they're like integrated with like trees and stuff. And they're like doing these like trees on each of the levels. I'll have to find a picture for you. Huh. In the break. Yeah. It's Intriguing. really cool. Yeah. So. Yeah. I know uh, one day I went, like I literally working from home, went down to the parkade, drove to the gym where I park underground, mm-hmm. worked out, mm-hmm. went back to that parkade, drove to my parkade, went back to my condo and mm-hmm. my roommate's like, is it cold outside? And I'm like, know. I have no fucking idea, man. <laughs> <laughs> and then there was one even where I did say like, uh, no, it's not too bad. And then he comes home after he went out to do whatever. He's like, what are you talking about? It's freezing out there. I'm like, oh, wait, I didn't go <laughs> actually go outside at all. <laughs> yeah, shit, man. Yeah. What do you think about it's that? It's so nice not having to like defrost your car and stuff though. Like I'm, yeah. Oh, it's. That's, that's a real thing for sure. Yeah. But... Well, I mean, for me, there's kind of like, there's a convenience part of it that flirts with laziness on, say, a Sunday. I don't have to shovel the walks or mow yeah. the lawn or do anything like that. I can just d- do whatever. Yeah. And I try, not always successfully, but I try to be productive those days in other ways. Or at least, I, you know, if I don't love doing those things, I'm using that time. Like, I'm pretty good at working 
mm-hmm. as a self-employed person outside of regular business hours around the clock on weekends mm-hmm. just kind of uh, constantly plugging away at something right mm-hmm. so yeah 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 all right where are the odds adam shows up actually sorry let me pause that sentence there where are the odds adam shows up b what are the odds adam shows up with a coffee for me that i so nicely asked for uh, <laughs> and, uh probably 40 <laughs> percent for both of them <laughs> yeah yeah exactly uh oh back to the topic that we said the topic and did not discuss mm-hmm. uh studio setups yes Ooh, we should put out like a like an instagram poll or something like that mm. and kind of put two pictures pictures of some of the different ones we like mm-hmm. kind of say like hey that's a good idea what do you like just to get get i mean do it on our personal I'm, channels too. might do what i want anyways but it's good it's cool to actually it would be interesting to see what people think if people even think about that because it's something i think about a lot yeah. and you know you might notice watching a podcast that oh they sit this way yeah but i look at it very detailed of oh where are the mics in relation to the chairs and how, how's the camera and where's their off-screen guy sit in relation to them and where what, whenever what? i have a question i just ask instagram like, which of these two girls should I date? <laughs> hey, babe, can you send me a picture real quick? <laughs> what for? Can you send me this pose that the other girl is also doing? Uh, yeah. So we can compare apples to apples here, please? Yeah, yeah I, re- I really like to control variables. You know, I'm a scientific <laughs> man like that, so. <laughs> yeah. Could you fucking imagine? That would yeah. actually be. That would be. I mean, I'm sure it's been done before. That would be like the Costanza thing where it either <laughs> goes really well or really, my whole web of lies is blowing up in my face. <laughs> I'll understand if neither of you want to see me again. <laughs> um, yeah, but because I just kind of, I don't know, I want to, actually I'm enjoying this because I'm used to like looking like this to talk to you. So yeah. I kind of more talk in the air when I'm talking to you versus looking at you. So yeah. It's a little different. But even That's if good. you like turn the chairs, you know, like if you just kind of yeah. like this. Oh yeah, for sure. Well. Because we've done that on some recent episodes where everyone's saying a little more casual and I kind of do that as yeah, well. Yeah. But then the only thing I don't like about that is then I have my back to the camera, yeah. which I don't really love. Which fucking Dylan was doing the entire fucking yeah, second, second episode. Yeah, second act of that. Jesus Christ. Yeah. So, no, but you know what I mean? Just because I'm not opposed to that, but the problem is is you kind of want to make it look good for the camera too. But I'm thinking if we have the camera like there and shooting us like this, I think that would probably be... That's fine. Yeah. That'd be, sure. That'd be okay. That's cool. For for two person. Well, yeah. even this is good. But no, I'm. I don't know. If and when we kind of find a different space. I don't know. It's something I've been thinking about for, just figuring out a better way to have. Because very often we have three because it's me, you, and guest. Yeah. And just a better way to integrate that is kind of what I want to. I also work realized on. that we probably could be, sitting, these two, mm-hmm. because then we'd actually be closer to the camera. <laughs> I was thinking of that, and I thought about moving the camera, but uh, eh. So that is pretty much us in a nutshell. Yeah. Eh. <laughs> <laughs> eh. Speaking of eh, fucking oh my god! So on the, I think it was the second episode. Mm-hmm. There was Nathan and Dylan's story about how your skip the dishes didn't show up. First episode, I think. Yeah. Yeah. And it because if you look, there's one. Sl- <laughs> slot of like 11 minutes that we cut out yeah because <laughs> it was just that stupid fucking story which wasn't a very good story sorry <laughs> wasn't guys wasn't really that funny it wasn't that funny it took so long to tell because dylan kept interrupting <laughs> nathan <laughs> it was kind of a stupid story and i'm like god damn it <laughs> Fuck this. there's some funny shit within the story though because i think dylan was like something about nike shout out <laughs> yeah yeah so sadly we missed got rid of that part but uh yeah Okay, well, let's let's call it a this. We're at 30-some-odd minutes, and then we'll get this next guy on here. He's probably still hammered. and uh, Is he here? I don't know. Oh, okay. He will be shortly, though. All right, sounds good. Uh, da, 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 da. Ho, ho, motherfucking ho. <laughs> Merry Christmas. See you, hoes. See you, hoes. Other Christmas quotes. Other Christmas quotes.